Yes, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and this is my YouTube journey. Apart from making videos on YouTube, I'm also quite an avid coin collector and I'm really happy to show all you guys at home today throughout some of my collection. Um, I've been collecting coins now for about a year. It all started off with getting some Beatrix Pot of 50p's and my change and my collection has just grown from there. In this book today is just 50p's and uh, my 10p A to Z alphabet collection. Um, I have got quite a big collection but I thought showing you it all in one video would just probably make the one time a bit too long. So we're going to stick with this little book today and uh, we'll go from there. If you, if you do like these videos please throw a like on it and uh, leave me a comment below. And uh, yeah, if, if you give me some feedback on how, how these videos are going, then yeah, I'll certainly do some more in the future. So yeah, without further ado guys, let's get cracked on through this book and I'll give you a little uh, brief description of some of my coins that I've got in my collection. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so starting off, um, this is the, uh, the 1997 Britannia, just there. Um, the, uh, yeah, quite, quite um, well minted coin. One that you're more than likely, likely to see in your change. But yeah, 1997 Britannia, the first 50p um, after the large one that was released into circulation. Uh, secondly, we've got the, uh, this is the 1998 entry to the EEC. Uh, and uh, this was minted at about 5 million, so it's a semi-rare semi, semi -rare coin, but yeah, you're more than likely to get some in your change. This is one of my favourite 50p coins. It is uh, the NHS coin. Again, about 5 million of these were released into circulation, but it's such a beautiful design and it's certainly one of my favourite 50p coins. Again, we've got the Public Libraries. Uh, this was released in, I believe, 2000. And the mintage was about 11 million. So it's quite a popular coin and you're more than likely to get this in your change as well. Again, this one was, uh, this this one's called the, uh, the Super Jets. It was released in 2003. And it's actually got quite a low mintage compared to some of the, some of the other coins. This was um, had a mintage of about three million, so it is quite a rare coin, um, and I think you will struggle to find this in your change really. But you, you know, it's not it's not as rare as some of the 50p's. But yeah, this is the 2003 Suffragettes, and it's certainly one of my favourite designs. Again, we're moving on. Uh, we've got the 50 pence piece. Now, this is the, uh, the the Roger Bannister 50p. This was released in 2004. And again, this was uh, this had a mintage of about nine million, so it's quite a popular coin. And again, you will find some of this in your change. Uh, this is the dictionary 50p. Um, again, I bet quite a lot of you at home have, have had this in your change at some point. A very very popular uh, 50 pence piece, released in 2005. It had a mintage of about 17 and a half million. So yeah, it's a very popular 50 pence piece, and there's still plenty out there in circulation. Now we've got the Victoria Cross medals. Uh, these two are some of my favourite 50p's yet again. This one is the Victoria Cross and uh, this was released in, this one is the Victoria Cross medal. And this one had a mintage of about 12 million. Again, moving on, um, uh, released into circulation next was the uh, Heroic Axe 50p, Victoria Cross again. And this had a mintage of about 10 million. So again, another popular 50p, but yeah, it's one of my favourites again. On this next one, we have got the Scouts Movement, uh, released in 2007. We've got a mintage on here of about 7.7 .7 million, so again, quite a popular 50p, and you'll be sure to get some when you change at some point. Uh, now here is the, uh, the creme de la creme, this is what all 50p coin collectors go after. This is the rarest 50p in circulation at the moment, and it is 2009 Kew Gardens. Uh, roughly based on eBay um, prices, well, eBay auction prices, I can't do buy it now prices because they're just people are selling money. But if you take an average of um, eBay selling prices, you're looking at anything between 80 and 100 pounds for this one coin alone. And this is the Kew Gardens, easily the most sought after 50p in circulation. And if you do get one in your change, you're looking at easily 80 to 100 pounds if you want to sell it. So moving on, we've got the uh, yeah 100 years of uh, celebrating 100 years of the Gale Guides. Uh, this was released in um, oh let me think, let me just look at my little list. I'm working on a little list. So yeah, 2010 Gale Guides. This had a circulation of about 7.4 million. Again, another popular 50p and one that you will uh, most likely find in in your change. Okay, moving on to the next page. Uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, I've got all my 50 50p's organised in date order. 
started from obviously 1997 all the way through to uh, the current date. Again, this is this is my I think my favourite 50p design. This is the 2011 WWF 50p. Yeah, it is my favourite design to be fair. I absolutely love it. Quite a low mintage, 3.4 million. Quite rare to find, and I should imagine quite a lot have been uh, put into collectors now. It's very rare that you probably find these in your, in your change now to be fair because so many collectors obviously take them out of circulation. So yeah, that's another one to keep an eye out on for if you do get one in your change. The Christopher Ironside, again, another lovely design. Uh, 2013 this was released, and I had a mintage of about 7 million. Then you've got the Benjamin Britten. Uh, this was released in, let me just have a look at my little list. So this was released in 2013 again, and I had a mintage of about 5.3 million. Um, a semi-rare 50p but a lovely design and if you get one in your change you, you might want to keep it. So moving on we've got the um, the Commonwealth Games. This was released in 2014 and this had a mintage of about 6.5 million. Next on we've got the Battle of Britain 50 pence piece. Uh, this was released in 2015 and I had a mintage of 5.9 million. It's a lovely design. Okay, moving on, we've got the Team GB 50 pence piece. This was released in 2016, and uh, yeah, it had a mintage of 6.4 million. Yeah, another common design, you'll quite easily find this in a change. We've got the 2016 Battle of Hastings 50p. Um, I, do, I do like this, this design, and it was uh, released into circulation, and uh, total circulation was 6.7 million. Okay, moving on to all the 50p's that everyone knows and loves is the Beatrix Potters. I got this in my change once and I just absolutely fell in love with it and yeah, it did get me collecting. And uh, yeah, this is the coin to thank for all this collection. So yeah, the Beatrix Potter. This one was released in, let me just have a look at my list. So the 2016 Beatrix Potter, uh, it was released in circulation of um, 6.9 million, so quite a common design. We've got the 2016 Peter Rabbit. Again, this was released in 2016 and it had a mintage of 9.6 million. Now, moving on to this Jemima Puddle Duck. Um, this is the rarest Beatrix Potter coin in circulation. It's a 2016 coin and you're looking, if you want to buy this coin now, anything from seven to 15 pounds just for this one coin. Um, it, had such, it had quite a low mintage. It is the third lowest minted um, coin in circulation at the moment and it just had 2.1 million coins released into circulation so finding this in your change will be quite hard a lot of there's so many collectors that have took these coins out of circulation finding them in your change is just getting more and more rare but yeah just 2.1 million of these were released into circulation so they do hold quite a bit of, of value to be fair we've got the 2016 miss tiggy winkle this had a mintage of 8.8 .8 million again another lovely design Next on we've got the uh, 2016 Squirrel Nutkin. Let me just look at my list to find out the uh, the mintage. Yeah, the lowest mint. The, yeah, the second lowest mintage of the 2016 Beatrix Potters. This just had a mintage of five million, so a bit more rarer than the others. So if you you know if you do get it, keep a hold of it. On to the next page. We've got the 2017 Peter Rabbit. Now this was um, <coughs> this was released into circulation with such, with such huge demand that 19.9 um, million of these were released into circulation, nearly 20 million. So yeah, you'll find this everywhere to be to be fair. 2017 Tom Kitten, this was released in 2017 and it had a total mintage of 9.5 million. And then we've got the 2017 Jeremy Fisher, this had a mintage of 9.9 .9 million. Well, this is my favorite 2017 Beatrix Potter, I just love the design, it's, it's really cool. And then lastly, we've got the 2017 Benjamin Bunny. And this is currently the most, um, apart from the 1997 Britannia, this is the uh, the, the largest um, circulated coin in the UK at the moment. And it's got a total mintage of 25 million. Okay, now this is again, one of my other favorite 50 pence pieces. It's my pride and joy. I'll never get rid of this. It's the 2017 Isaac Newton with a total mintage of just 1.8 million. Finding these in your change will be quite difficult because again, a lot of collectors are taking them out of circulation. But yeah, I think if you want to buy this currently as well, you, you are looking at again, anything from 10 to 15 pounds. 
Um, you might get it a bit lower depending, but yeah, it, it, way more than face value this at the moment. It's just such a beautiful design. Okay, moving on, we've got the 2018 Peter Rabbits. Uh, well, I say Peter Rabbits, we've got the 2018 Beatrix Potters. So the 2018 um, Taylor Peter Rabbit. We've got the 2018 Flopsy Bunny. 2018 Miss Tittle Mouse and the 2018 Taylor of Gloucester. I can't give you circulation values on these at the moment because they haven't been released yet, but I should imagine they're going to be massive. I'm finding them everywhere in my change and bank runs. So yeah, they're just massive. The circulation is going to be in way over 10 million for some of these. Okay, again, some of my favourite designs again. We've got the Paddington at uh, Buckingham Palace. Uh, again, circulation figures that haven't been released yet. We've got the 2018 Paddington at the train station. Again, Mintage figures have not been uh, released yet, so I can't tell you, unfortunately. But yeah, I, lo I love these two. And I, yeah, it took me quite a while to get these in my change, but when I did, I was, I was absolutely made up. Okay, moving on, we've got the, two uh, we've got the uh, 2018 uh, People's Act coin. Again, another lovely design, and this was the last one issued for 2018. Mintage figures, again, haven't been released for this yet, but um, as soon as they are, they'll, they'll be posted online. Now moving on, this is, I'm not sure if all collectors do this, but I've, 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 I've done this now. There's nothing really special about these coins apart from, I've just been collecting them in, 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 in date. So we've got 1998, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007 and 2008. And then moving on to the next page, we've got 2012, 2013. 2014 and 2015. I'm yet to get the remaining dates because some of, some of the dates are ha, either haven't been released for that year or um, that they're in bulk packs. So, but I will keep an eye out and I will try to fill out all these yearly, just these yearly Britannias and Shields. So that's what I've been trying to do from like from the year the Shield was first released and then going on till obviously 2019. Um, I should imagine one day I'll have all the Shields and Britannias filled out in all these years but obviously with some of them being released in bulk packs um, the value of getting some of these coins to fill in these gaps is, is quite expensive. Now moving on to my latest now we finished with 50p coins and this is my, my latest um, acquisition I got these for Christmas from my lovely wife Amy I was absolutely made up to get these I've been wanting them for such a long time and when I opened these on Christmas day I was, I was like a kid in a candy shop so yeah, as you all know guys, these are the A to Z 10p pieces, uh, representing letters of the alphabet. I just love these coins so much, that some of the designs are absolutely beautiful. You've got like A for Angel of the North, you've got B for Bond, C for Cricket, D for Double Decker Bus, uh, E for Full English Breakfast, F for Fish and Chips, this is my favourite design, the Fish and Chips, that one's my favourite by far. Then you've got things like G for Globe. Uh, then you've got H for, um, oh, I'm not quite sure, House of Romans or something like that. I for Ice Cream, J for Jubilee, uh, you've got K for Night, L for Loch Ness. Again, this is another one of my favourite designs. I absolutely love that. Then you've got like um, M, N for Nurse, and then O for Oak, P for Post Office, Q for Q. That's quite a nice little funky design. I do like that as well. R for Robin, I believe, and then we've got S for Stonehenge, T for T, U for Union Jack, um, V for Village, W for Web, X for, let's have a little look at this one. I forgot what that one is now, I think it's X for Explore or something. I do apologise, um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what that, that one, I think it's Explore or, so, or something like that. But again, that's another one of my favourite designs, I love that. I'm moving on to uh, the last um, last couple of the alphabets. You've got Y for Yeoman Guards and then you've got Z for Zebra Crossing. I, I do love the collection, I've, I've, you know, I've been seeking change out for quite a long time now and it's, it's very rewarding to get a complete collection of 50p's and uh, I'm, I'm, able, I'm able to show all you guys at home. It's just going to keep getting bigger until I decide to stop but you know looking at it is I've, I've already managed to fill out one complete album and then yeah until I get bored or 
until I can stop finding change, that's when I'll stop. Oh, lastly, I, forgot, I did forget to show you this one actually. This is my, my last one, the 50p, which was um, the Snowman 50p. Let me try and show you if it zooms in. I got this for Christmas as well. An absolutely beautiful design. There we are, that's a bit better. Treasure for Life, again, this was a Snowman 50p. And uh, yeah, I got this for Christmas from my lovely wife Amy, so thank you very much. But yes guys, that's it. That, that is my collection for now. I've got I've got so many other coins in my collection, including £2, American coinage, and other foreign coins that, that I'd love to show you in other videos. If, if you did like this and uh, you, you'd like me to make some more on my collection, please throw a thumbs up on this video. And uh, subscribe to my channel and whack that notification bell on and then you'll always be notified when I upload new content. But that's it guys, thanks for taking the time to go through this collection with me. It's been an absolute pleasure showing you. And uh, until next time, just stay absolutely awesome and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.